How's it going, everyone? My name is Miguel Fuentes, and I'm the uh, campus pastor at Freedom Campus at um, <clears throat> at Project Connect Online Church. And uh, today we're going to be doing a teaching on uh, be teachable and trainable. Now, this is going to be a topic where where we're going to be diving into the Word of God and see what the Word of God says about being being teachable and trainable uh either in your in your job or in your careers um business and and also our kingdom life uh, or our kingdom lifestyle lifestyle towards the lord and so before we get started here let's go ahead and pray and let's invite the holy spirit being this uh this 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 power study Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you, Lord. Lord, you are so glorious. Lord, you're so wonderful and amazing, God. Lord, if you have sin in our hearts, Lord, we repent. Lord, we sincerely repent for what we have done. And Lord, I'm praying for the victim families that lost in the, in the Colorado shootings. And Lord, I just pray in, in the name of Jesus. Lord, that there would be peace in the family, Lord. And I know for a fact, Lord, that I don't know what what their victim's life is. But God, as we, Lord, we, we, we pray for peace among the victim's family. And uh, Father, I just pray right now, Lord, that help us, Lord, to be teachable. Help us, Lord, to be trainable. Help us, Lord, to understand your ways and not ours. And Lord, we thank you, Lord, for... The opportunity, Lord, to get into your word. And we thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Uh, if you turn your Bibles with me, turn to Proverbs chapter 12. Now, I understand that the Bible tells us to train our, our children in the way of the Lord. That's part that that's part part of it. But we gotta remember. Well, what does in the uh, in in the gospels say that we are you know we we should have faith like a child so we are a child uh, like into the image of God or into the the eyes of the Lord rather so um, Proverbs chapter twelve verse one says whosoever loves instructions. Loves knowledge, but he who hates reproof is is brovish. I think that that's how you say it. Okay. Um, this you know I know this is one single verse, but there's all powerful stuff in the book of Proverbs. But number one, what is teachable and what is trainable? Uh, teachable is uh, means able to learn by being taught and trainable is the action of teaching a person and so <clears throat> not only that 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 you know for uh, actually let me give you two examples number one uh, at my job uh, let's see in, two, <clears throat> in May 2000. In 16 was my first job and is a landscape company the only uh, now it's you know back then it's kind of hard to get a job without getting a corporate job experience however the Lord opened the door to to this company uh, learning landscaping and so in 2000 in May 2016 it was a, how do I say this? It was a very tough year. I mean, you know, I only have push mooring experience. I, I never used the walk behind or the, um, um, or the rider or a, um, or a nedger or a weeder, stuff like that. Uh, but, I learned. I, I was being teachable 
in that moment. Learning how to punch all correctly. Learning how to do certain tasks at work. Learning how to clean a shop. Learning how to put sod under the ground. Learning how to use a rider uh, two years later. Learning how to prune. Learning how to clean, clean up pruning clippings. Learning how to put uh, mulch. Learning how to do leaf removal. During that time when I was working at, at that landscaping company right now, it's tough, but it's well worth it because I, you know, I'm being taught how to do things properly. Like the Bible says, whoever loves instructions loves knowledge. So we always got to have instructions if we're going to be successful in our careers or in our jobs. And learning how to be trainable to teach others you know, the same thing that you do or what, what I do. And secondly, I was teachable in doing what's called self-taught uh, software developer. And in my, in my expertise, I'm, I'm, I'm learning how to do front-end development, which you got to use HTML, CSS, uh, JavaScript, and any other JavaScript framework like Angular, um, what's it called, uh, Vue.js or React.js. I kind of learn all that stuff by myself, but I learned to be teachable from other mature developers in the in the developer community, especially on 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 YouTube, especially on you know, Facebook groups or or Instagram or. You know, something, something like that. But the only way to be good at coding is to do projects. And, and if I want to get a job, being a junior front-end developer, I, I got to do a whole bunch of projects that I did personally. Showing them my code, show, showing them well, what work I'm, I'm doing. Uh... Uh, and also networking, and and and, uh, and you know, just you know, just be sociable to other developers. If if you can, you can collab with other developers as well, online. And 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 I can use GitHub to collab with another developer, and we can do the same project together, which is kind of cool because not only that you are being flexible. But but I'm learning how to how to solve problems. I'm learning how to yes, you will you will learn to solve problems in the developer community. You will learn how to debug code, you learn you will learn how to fix syntax errors, you will learn how to solve algorithm algorithms and data structure. Learning how to use API or I, uh, IU or sorry UI or UX you know platforms to really design a, or, or mock up of a website or an app that you are creating or, or or creating a blueprint called wireframing where 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 you blueprint what what you know. What project that you're doing, like an app or a web page, a landing page, so so forth and so forth. Because I've been I've been uh, learn a lot through other developers. You know, yeah, it's great that I'm looking at tutorials, but once test time comes when I do a project and I, and I know the concepts of JavaScript, now I can start building. Calculators. Now I can start building you know, simple games, like uh, uh, like uh, rock paper scissors, or creating a pretty cool land uh, uh, a pretty cool landscaping website. You know, just to name a few. 
And because of that, we, you know, God showed me that, you know, we can be teachable while we, while we were walking with the Lord. And so number two, God wants us to be teachable. See, he is teaching, sorry, he is teaching us how to live godly and be dependent on him. See, he is always training, uh, training us to spend time with him. Train as how you know, training us how uh, how to use the Holy Spirit and the Scriptures just to uh, walk with Him. You know, in, in in understanding the Word, because you got to remember, pride comes before the fall. So if you're gonna be prideful doing this, you ain't gonna last long. I can tell you that right now, God will put you down on your knees and beg for mercy. Because God is not playing. God is not playing. God God wants us to be teachable. God wants us to be humble and to uh, love instruction and to love knowledge to the point that, that we give Him all the glory. Just think about that. For a moment, the Holy Spirit always, you know, always guiding us to the truth. The Holy Spirit is the one who, who gives us guidance, and to understand the Scriptures. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And number three is that you can teach others in your kids. The Bible says that you know. Train the kids uh, to the affirmation of the Lord. I don't want to pray facing it, but you can look at it. Uh, you can look at it at your own, you know, you know at your Bible. And um, <clears throat> you know, train your kids to walk in the, into the kingdom of God. Make disciples. Be trainable in your job or business. Or or. Better yet, with your hobbies. If you, if you got hobbies, learning how to paint, learning how to learn new skills at your job. Always love instructions and love knowledge. But he who hates reproof, you know, is is, is stupid, basically. And so, it's, it's very, very important. As I, as I meditate on that scripture, how much more are we teachable now than we did three months ago? How are we teachable now before we, you know, you know, whatever. You know, God is just, mm, thank you, Lord. I, I, just, I just thank the Lord for showing me things that I've never been seen before. If you know what I'm saying. And it's, it's so important to be to be taught by the Lord. And, you know, that, that's what I do. Bible, stud, Bible studies every Wednesday. Um... Or, or doing sermons on Sunday and do little mini topics in between. Why? Because I love to be teachable. I love to be quiet, listen to the Lord, and do whatever He tells me to do. And yes, I do discern the spirits to make sure that it is of God. I I also how you say this? I also I am able to do all things through Christ. See, I understand that once I enter into a fun and development stuff coding, it's gonna be hard. 
It is. But, as the Bible says, with Christ who strengthened, you know, uh, it, it, all things are possible with Christ. All things are possible with God. The only thing that stopped me from receiving my first job is instructions. I got to focus on the teacher. I got to focus on the guy from Unity. Just to learn JavaScript. And, and, and he showed me a lot of things from functions to, um, to if, if, uh, and else consoles to console.log to print out, you know, the thing and using a terminal. I thought I gotta learn. I got to. If I want to be a successful developer right now, to put my to put my heart first onto God. Then once I do that, now I can pray to the Holy Spirit, Lord, help me, Lord, to bring remembrance of what I'm what I'm learning, and also do projects. That's the only way that you can learn. Coding is through projects, through problem solving, uh, problem solving, solving algorithms, and whatever computer computer language that you are interested in. It's gonna take time. Right now, it's gonna be my a year and three months. I got. I'm gonna say I got eleven months. No. Yeah, 11 months learning HTML, CSS. Now I'm learning JavaScript. And I'm about to learn the frameworks of JavaScript. And I know it's not going to be easy, but it's well worth it. You know why? Because I trust in the Lord that whatever He says, He'll back up with action. <sighs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. So, I I thank you guys for watching. I know it's a bit short, but it, I just I just want to teach that for a moment there, because I believe personally that that we all need to trust in God, that we all need to be humbled and to receive correction. From the Lord to receive instructions from the Lord to to love knowledge. So, thank you guys for listening. May God bless you. I see you guys again next time.